Here's an example of the assignment that you are doing. You're going to be constructing a rating curve. And in this example, we have a culvert, just like the one in the assignment, that has a width of one and a half meters. And this is a concrete culvert that you would find under a bridge, one of those rectangular ones that is encased in cement. We're going to assume a cement floor, mm -hmm. which means that it is flat. So the width is always going to be one and a half meters, and wherever we me measure the depth, it's going to be consistent, or more or less, all the way across. There's going to be the odd rock screwing things up, but we're, we're going to mm -hmm. ignore that. So we need to work out the discharge, so we can plot that against the stream depth, or stage. And as we are well aware now, the discharge is the velocity times the area. So we're told that the width of the culvert is one and a half meters. So I'm going to start off by working up my area. So I'm, I have my stage already put into my Excel. And I'm going to add in my widths. My area will then be my stage times my width. And I'm just going to click and drag. And I have given my velocity for each respective height. So now I'm going to calculate my discharge, which is simply my area times my velocity. And again, click and drag. Now just before I go do my chart, I'm just going to do a quick check on my decimals. I have three decimals in my answers, and I always want to be as accurate as my instrument. I don't want to be more accurate than my instrument, that's just not possible. But when I go back to my velocities, I see that one is to three decimal places, so that means that my meter goes to three decimals. So we're, we're good. So now we're going to insert the chart. So I'm going to go over to Insert, and I'm going to select Scatter, and I'm going to do the one with the dots connected by a line. And then I'm going to select my data, Add, uh, series name, let's just call it Rating Curve Example. I know, so imaginative. And the X values, the discharge is going to be along the bottom. And the Y is my stage. Get rid of this equals 1. They put it in by default just to make a mess of things on us, I'm sure. Okay. And that's good. And there we are. And I believe you're taught to get rid of this box so you have more room for your graph. Now I'm just going to fancy it up by labeling my axes. Oh, that's interesting. Click the wrong one. Okay, axis title, discharge, and always remember to put in your units. and stage and in this question it's asking you to determine the discharge when the stage is 0.6 meters so we can go along the 0.6 meter line to where it intersects the curve mm -hmm. but when we project down it's a little difficult to pinpoint where exactly that is so I'm going to add more lines in so to do this you right click on the line on the numbers and I'm going to add major grid lines I'm going to add minor and I'm going to do the same over here there we go and I'm also going to highlight it with a red line I can't unfortunately click on this point and have numbers pop up that would just be too obvious for these programmers um, the reason I've been given is that 
we are connecting points on this curve. It's not a line of best fit. If it were a line of best fit or a trend line, an equation could be provided like flood forecasting where we can plug in our x and solve for our y. But because it's an irregular plot, it can't be done. So to get a, a line, we can go to Insert, Shapes, and there's our line. And I can go from 0.6 over to where it intersects. It takes mm -hmm. a bit of a steady hand. And I can change my color to red. And I'm going to have to insert again. And go for red again. Mm -hmm. And this works out to approximately 0.38 cubic meters per second. Uh, another option that you can do if you want to be more exact is to increase the increments of lines and that will help you get a more accurate reading as well. But for this assignment I'm fine with this. So what I am hoping to have from you, what on earth did I just do? is what I'd like to have from you is the, sh the chart and the sheet where you have done your work and an example calculation just to make sure that everything is done correctly and of course your name and that's everything and because this is being posted on the Saturday um, we'll mm -hmm. go to the next working day which would be Monday so if you haven't handed it in yet um, the latest you can hand it in is a week Monday, which would be November 26th. And thank you for your patience and have a great day.